Okay, we're uh, Norfolk police officers that look after the Norfolk Broads. Welcome to Norfolk. Uh, thank you for choosing uh, Broom Marine for your uh, boating holidays. Um, we're here to make sure you have a safe time. So uh, today, when you're probably watching this in your uh, nice warm clothes on the deck in your beach, it's a bit wintry at the moment. So hopefully you can hear us okay. But um, uh, we just want to talk to you about one of the most safest things that uh, we want you to wear is your life jackets. They're not compulsory, but we, uh, if you're going to fall in or have an axe on board a boat, this is what is going to potentially save your life or serious injury. The ones that myself and Amy are wearing are designed for like adults, but there's different sizes for children uh, and teenagers and even your pets. A lot of dogs have life jackets on nowadays. So it's worth looking after them. And we do uh, specifically like children to wear life jackets uh, at all times, because when you move around the decks of the boat, they can become slippery. There's plenty of trip hazards. And the last thing we want is your family member in the water um, and going underwater when you, a life jacket is such a simple thing to use to keep you afloat. Okay, so when you come to put your life jacket on, you want to make sure it's comfortable and it fits. Um, everyone's a different shape and size, but we want to make sure they're very simple to clip together. Um, if they've got crotch traps fitted, make sure they're in, go in between the legs, they're secure around the back of the life jacket, so it's a nice snug fit. That way, when you go into the water, and the same of these ones for the children, you know, they're all fitted correctly it's not going to lift up above their heads and get caught they're designed to flip you on your back and keep your airway opening so when you're breathing you're not taking in lots of water as well and they're, again they're in bright colors so if you're in choppy waters and you're beneath the waves someone knows at least when to get the life ring out they can aim for some a person in there by, by seeing the brightly colored life jacket So one of the other most important things when you're on board a boat is to keep hold with one hand at all times when you're moving around. Um, most of the boats will have railings or handles, so you can hold on to those. Deckings um, and boats get really slippery, especially if it's wet, so it's very important to keep on so you don't trip over or slip overboard. So when you're coming to moor up, make sure you don't use your hands or feet to, to fend off. Um, you can easily break your foot or leg if you put your arms out, so use... Um, either use one of the mooring sticks to, to push off against it or make sure you just got the fenders out like the boats that are here but it's just very important always keep a hold on all the time so when you're moving about you don't slip into the water so um when you come here now on holiday in the norfolk and suffolk broads uh, one of the attractions is that you can drink and drive uh, on the waterways. Now, this doesn't mean drinking to excess. Um, it's a, a quirky feature of nowadays with so many rules and laws, regulations. We kind of want to keep that on the Norfolk Broads. It is part of the attraction. And everyone likes a gin and tonic or a couple of beers or a glass of wine on a lovely summer's day as you're going down the Broads. So. All we ask is that people drink in moderation. Whoever's at the helm of the boat needs to be in proper control. So I suggest they limit to what they actually have because there are bylaws that the Broads Authority will prosecute for um, if you're not in proper control. The main thing is we want to keep you safe. And if you're in charge of a 42 foot boat, you've got tides to consider, you've got the weather conditions to consider, and you've got many other boat users to look out for. There are people wild swimming, there are dogs that are chasing sticks, you've got lots of wildlife, but you've also got lots of other boats out there. Remember, on the river you always drive on the right hand side of the river, unlike on the roads. River, right. And um, you've just got to give way to other passing boats. So if you're having a drink, just think of your surroundings. It's a very quiet part of the world and the temp the noise levels always go up after a few beers and we don't want to spoil other people's enjoyment of the broad so just use a bit of common sense think about what you're consuming think about the time of day the location 
how far you've got to get to somewhere. That's all part of the passage planning. So um, what we don't want is for you to come into danger by having too much. You could be unsteady on your feet and you could spoil not only your own enjoyment, but those other people around you. Don't drink and drown. Okay, so uh, part of uh, when you're on holiday is one of your team accidentally has an accident and you end up um, having a slip, trip or fall into the water. That's what we call man overboard. Um, the person at the front of the boat will be at the helm. They might have some music on and they might be completely unaware of what's happening at the rear of the boat. Um, so we need whoever members of your party to constantly keep doing a head count and if the worst should happen, someone does fall in uh, on the water, we need someone to shout out loudly, man overboard, and just keep your arm out and keeping your, uh, where you can see the person has fallen in, hopefully wearing a life jacket that will stand out. It's not like flat calm waters like today. It might be a bit more out at Braden or at Great Yarmouth where there's waves and a bit more choppy. So sometimes you'll see the head the next minute they'll be disappeared. So that's why it's important to always keep pointing in the direction of where the person was last seen and that the person at the helm can then be moving the boat around. So what we do want is the engines and the propellers away from the person in the water. So by having the person at the helm to come around in a circle, we'll hopefully come alongside that person and just hold them onto a fender or the side of the boat so we can get them near land for a place of safety. Don't worry, they're going to be heavy wearing wet clothing. Don't try and bring them back on the side of the boat. You want to be able to uh, bring them alongside and then get them to a nice key heading where you can hopefully have other people. If it's particularly if they've caused an injury, if they've banged their head, that they're semi-conscious, what we do need is for somebody to be phoning 999, asking for the Coast Guard, Again, remember where you are on the broads, what river you're on, what village you've just left or where you're heading to. If you've got the away app with what three words built in, press that button, give the operator those three words so we know exactly where we can get resources to come along and help. But the man overboard technique is something that everyone should just talk about before your holiday. And we hope it never happens, but at least you'll be prepared if it does. Also make yourself aware of where the life ring is on your boat so that if you do go in, you know where it is, locate it to throw it to that person. As we've said before, don't aim it at them, just throw it into the water as close as you can so they can take hold of it and help them by pulling them back towards the boat. I'm probably just showing the life on. So these are buoyancy aids which will assist them. So you, they're quite heavy, but they're designed in that way so that they can stay floating on the surface of the water. So don't aim it at the person's head and knock them out. You want to aim it to look at the tide, which way it's flowing so that it will actually drift and flow towards that person. So at least they've got something to hang on to until help arrives. So the Norfolk Broads is a very safe place to visit, however we would like to offer you some crime prevention advice. Whilst you're on your holiday and on your boats, just make sure you don't leave valuables inside your boat when you go out on show. Obviously the boats have got lots of windows, if you leave laptops, phones, tablets and things on display then obviously that's encouraging people to perhaps break into your boat. If you're going out for the evening you may then you know people can notice you're walking away from your boat leaving the boat unattended and this can be left vulnerable um, at a time when the boat could get broken into so just make sure you lock everything away hide them away take them with you keep your boat locked um, and just have a safe time whilst you are away um, without any thefts or any incidents occurring and if the worst should happen always report it to the police don't wait until the end of your holiday and then mention it it might just be the missing part of the jigsaw that we need for something else. So please, you know, if something should go amiss, tell one of the Broad Line Rangers or phone 101 or phone the boat hire company who will uh, be able to relay the message to us. 
that way when we can get involved and we can follow up and try and resolve things before you go home.